Hey guys, Drake here with the Nectar Bar and we are in day two of quarantine. So that means I am still outside. I'm enjoying the things that I can do in my own backyard and seeing what kind of critters I can find. Here we have some passion vine. There are several different types of native passion vine to Texas. Um, this one happens to be Passiflora suberosa or the common name is also called cork stem passion vine. Um, it's kind of evergreen, well, what we call semi-evergreen. So over here where it was kind of blocked from wind, it's been green all winter, um, but over in the other side of the yard where it got a little snap, it froze back down to the ground, but it's still green in there. Um, this one's been blooming all winter. Another bloom about to come right there. They're very, very small and give tiny little fruits. Um, we have some snapdragon vine that's kind of mixed in and it's growing back a whole bunch right there. Snapdragon vine is actually a host plant for um, the common uh, buckeye butterfly. And passion vine um, is host plant for four. Four different butterflies will actually use this. This here is Passiflora affinis. Um, this, you can see, has little chew holes in it. So guess what? We have caterpillars. Look at how tiny they are right now. They're so cute. And these are Gulf Fritillary caterpillars. We have some more up here. They're itty, itty bitty right now, but they'll grow up into big, beautiful butterflies um, that are great for helping pollinate things. This here is um, a nice, small, little white flower with little blue frills. Um, a finis is native. Um, and so is the uh, Suberosa, or the cork stem is also called. Um, there are several others, like the Fetida. Um, there are many, many different types of passion vine, but passion vine is definitely one that you want to make sure that you get native. Um, because if you're not familiar with ones that are from other countries, they could actually be too toxic for our butterflies here. So even though it's the correct plant and the mama says, hey, this is the correct plant. It's actually too toxic. and can actually kill um, the caterpillars when they start to eat the leaves. So make sure you get native. That way you don't um, accidentally do harm, more harm than good. And sit back and enjoy all the stuff that you're doing. Hey, so get back with me and tell me what are you playing in in your backyard during quarantine. Until next time, peace, love, and butterflies.